Coach Franklin at the beginning of spring said that there's going to be a, there's going to be a quarterback competition. Players are going to get an even amount of snaps as possible. But he mentioned that Bo Prabula could be used on the field in a variety of of different ways, more than just being QB one. So I'm not asking about the quarterback competition, but what can what can Bo do in, in those in those variety of ways that Franklin teased about? Well, there's different dynamics and different th- different football plays that that you can run with an athletic quarterback like Bo. Um, and it provides you a package um, that can be utilized in different particular situations. And regardless of, of the package, I think w- what's really important is that we continue to develop that room the best we possibly can be. Uh, the best, you know, and, and to become the best overall unit and best overall room. And so the competition is going to bring that out and, and to have those guys battling every day, you know, keeping each other uh, on the edge of their seat. And very competitive now. Very competitive in the media room, and very competitive on the football field. And and I was going to ask that next. What has how has Aller and Prabula? How have they gotten better? How have they each other made them compete and want to not get complacent? You've heard that quite a bit now here in the yeah. past few minutes. So the complacency. But how are they making each other better individually? Well, every every rep that they take, they know is is of value because everything's getting evaluated. So it puts the importance of, like, when you have a guy that's, uh, you know, no-brainer, like, he's, he's got, he, he can get lax, and, and we never want that at any position. So keeping the competition um, at every position is going to make sure that guys are, you know, on it, you know, mentally and, and physically and ready to go every day, both in the classroom and on the field. And then last question I have is that Nicholas Singleton and Catron Allen, we saw Allen get involved in the passing game quite a bit last year, Singleton selectively, but now that Singleton, who came from a very run-first heavy offense uh, in, in high school, now is into his second full year, what, how do you see them being factors uh, in the receiving game, both of them? They, they will be factors in, in both run and pass, and you know those are skills and fundamentals that we're always going to try to develop in our, in our running backs. Um, a lot of times you get the best matchups uh, with running back and matched up against the backer and, and, and those sorts of things. So we're going to continue to utilize those guys every which way we can in order to win football games. Seeing our kids just grow and, can, and seeing them have great relationships and seeing them play, you know, and it's, it's one of those things where we try to encourage our kids to have an imagination in, in their play. And of course, they're on the video games and we try to kick them <laughs> off, you know, and, and there's a time for that as well. They really enjoy that. but. Watching them just run around and be kids is, as a parent, that's 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 the best vacation you can have. Appreciate it, Mike. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. about the sophomore class here. Um, how do you keep an already talented class from becoming complacent? What was the question? I'm sorry. Uh, how do you keep an already talented class from becoming complacent? How do you keep um, a talented class from being complacent? You you continue to test them and put them in challenging positions, right? Um, and you know, I think it's really important to, to stay humble, and, and how you do that is this game is really humbling. Football is really humbling. So we're very fortunate here to go against a very elite defense, so we're reminded of that constantly. Mm-hmm. And so that's the, the nice part about being in a competitive environment is that iron sharpens iron, and when we go against our defense in practice, it's real. And uh, there's going to be ups and there's going to be downs, and we have to continue to grow and understand that it's all about being good that day and controlling what you can control and staying in the moment, I think that's a big part of it. And what do you think allowed last year's class to be so impactful? Are you talking about the senior class, ma'am? The, the sophomore class, ma'am. The sophomore class? Yeah. Um, this sophomore. Oh, this year's sophomore class. Um, well, it obviously, very talented, but then, you know, emotionally driven. You know, driven to be the best, um, playing with physicality. Um, and then playing with, with intellect. I think those are, are really important things in the game of football. Um, it's not a game for dummies. You have to be uh, very understanding and aware of everything that's around you from an from a intellectual standpoint, but then at the same time, when the ball snap, you gotta be physical as heck. And uh, that's, those, are, those are two things that are really important to us. And what do you think the next step looks like for that group? Oh, just a continued improvement. You know, I don't sit here and say, well, this is, you know, this has got to be it. Just it, we have to continue to get better uh, from an overall standpoint, each individual, but collectively as a group. And that, that means not just fundamentals of football and execution of football, but also leadership. And 
holding each other accountable and doing it the right way, um, establishing relationships and getting closer. Uh, you know, the closer team that you are, the better you're going to be because it, you're going to be you're going to be tougher to beat. You're going to be tougher to separate. It's like family. And so the tighter we are and the tighter knit we are, the tougher we're going to be to beat. Um, and the tougher we'll play for one another, too. Thank you. You're welcome. What impressed you about Nick last year, maybe even just aside from the breakaway speed that everyone kind of knew he had? Well, probably strength, you know, other than the speed is strength, but also his ability to, to catch on and understand the system, you know, understand protections. It's not easy um, coming into a system that's, that's different than your high school system. Uh, to be able to to operate on every down, you know, it wasn't like on third down we had to sub him out. Um, so he's in every down back, and I think those are the things that that really impressed me as a coordinator with regard to him. I think it was maybe week six or seven last year that James said he's like, yeah, Nick's not a freshman anymore. He's played enough. Yeah. He's, he's up to speed enough. Yeah. From where he was, call oh, this time last year, been into camp, a couple of practices into camp to now. What kind of what changes have you seen in him, or maybe not even changes, but growth? What kind of growth have you seen in him as, as a player and, yeah. and as a guy who's picking up the offense and doing the right things? I think if you had to sum it up, just more confidence. Yeah. Uh, being able to anticipate better, seeing the defense better, um, indicating enders, indicators uh, from the defense of certain things. You know, anticipation is a big deal. It allows you to play faster. You know, even though you're a fast athlete, if, if you're reacting, you know, and, and not anticipating, then you're going to play slower. So those are the sorts of things that you see from now with, with all the experience that he's had. Do you see something similar from Drew and, you know, him getting, you know, obviously not as much yeah. snap, you know, feature in the offense? Absolutely. That, but, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, again, it goes back to uh, the preparation and, and both those guys. Football is really important to them. Yeah. Um, so the, the preparation is there, and, and that allows them to have the, the ability to, to see it and to anticipate faster. Um, their preparation is, is very good. They're very mature football players. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate yeah, it. You're welcome.